Now let's get into creating our color system. So we are going to start with the light uh, theme. Okay, so as you can see here in this UI, we are already on the light theme. Okay, so what we want to do here, okay, we need to test our colors. We need to make sure that everything works well. So what we are going to do, we need to take um, some sort of uh, a screen that has got some sort of um, most of the elements, okay, that we will use, okay. Uh, for instance, what we can do here, I like this page, okay, because it also contains um, some text. It also contains uh, some uh, some headings, some H1s or uh, H2 or H3, some headings. And also it contains some buttons and it contains some text input. Okay, as you can see, um, there is a lot in this page. So we are going to use uh, this page as, um, let's duplicate it. As you can see, I've pressed Control D. We are going to use this page as some sort of our demo or as something that we are going to work from, okay? And then from there, let's look at also what are other components that are here, okay? Um, let's see. As you can see, we've got also some sort of a card component here, okay? That has got some sort of a setting um, uh, color there, some sort of a setting uh, background, okay? As you can see. So... I think we might also take that, okay, because it's unique. Let me press Control D, okay, and then I would like to assume I've duplicated it, yes, and then let's also just put it here, guys, okay. Let's just put it here. So the reason why we are doing this, we want to see if the things, um, they are fitting well together, the colors, okay? The colors are harmonious and they are fitting well together so that if they are, there are some things that we are not happy with, we can make some adjustment, okay? So what we want to do now, let's first of all, let's zoom in, okay? First of all, let's zoom in. Um, looking at the entire application, we can agree that um, our background color, primary background color, it's white, okay, as you can see. So based on the previous video, I've showed you uh, the code, okay? So let me see if uh, I still have a copy of that text. Let's see. Yes, I still have, okay? So this is a copy from the code as it is, okay? So let me just remove the bold there, Control B. Yes, okay. So as you can see, this is just a copy from that code. What we are going to do, we are going to start with the light colors, okay? We are going to start with the light colors. So let me just put the light colors here on top. <clears throat> My apologies about that. So as you can see, guys, the first thing that we want, we want wall light primary, okay? That's what we want, okay? What is wall light? As I've defined in the previous video, it's some sort of the overall background color of your application, okay? As you can see, so in, in this case, we've got white, okay? My apologies about that. So we've got uh, white. So let's just quickly do that. Uh, maybe you never know with colors. Okay, let's just make sure that this is white. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Just simple here. Okay, as you can see, guys, it's FFF. So um, just to stick to some sort of um, color, color code consistency. Okay, I'm going to use hex colors here. Okay, I'm not going to type white. Okay, so here we can copy and paste this here, as you can see. <clears throat> so that means now we've got white as our white light primary okay and i'm happy with this um so let's just make sure when we are done with the color we just change it to this is not visible enough let's change it to blue okay maybe this blue okay so we are done with this one okay so now we want a wall light secondary okay so um, do we have any other light color here, which is some sort of, uh, what can I say, um, a certain shade, okay? It's a background. 
it's used for the background and it's a certain shade okay i've already identified this one okay it's um some sort of a, a low hanging fruit but let's just look in the entire application for some others okay okay let's see it looks like to me Okay, this one, it's uh, some sort of uh, a modal, okay? So this is not uh, a background color, okay? It's just a color, and overlay color, just to hide in the background, okay? So it looks like to me, um, we've got that color as the light one, okay? So as you can see, this is the color that we have as a light one. So what we are going to do, we are going to come here, Control D. Okay, uh, as you can see, our background it's too light, so we can just click here and come here, guys, and make it a little bit uh, dark. Okay, so that we can, <clears throat> it's can be easier for us to see these colors. Okay, well, I might as well take this down. Okay, so as you can see, guys. Okay, now we need this color. Okay, we need this color. So we are going to use this color control C. We are going to use this color as our wall light secondary. Okay. We are going to use this as our wall light secondary. And we might as well change this to this blue. Okay. I think it's this one. <clears throat> My apologies about that. Okay. Um, it looks like here in uh, this code, we don't really have um uh wall light tertiary okay so we will just need to create uh one for ourselves okay why we have to create it okay um in development as we are working with our tailwind css jsx okay we might want a light color okay we might want it okay so in case we 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 got into that situation we must know that we already have it okay so i hope you do get that one so this means that as much as we will execute this from let's say um try to execute it as it is okay but we are just we are not going to make some sort of a clone of it okay simply because as you can see this ui doesn't have the login and it doesn't have the register we are going to have the login and we are going to have the register so it means that as time goes by there are some things that we are going to add as little as they are but we are going to add it um and now i can see guys um it looks like we have a tertiary one we have a tertiary color right we have i didn't look like close 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 here okay as you can see guys i think this is a background color as you can see this one is a background color and also this is a background color as you can see okay so let's continue guys it looks like now we are winning so i didn't really look much let me paste Okay, I'm assuming that I've made a copy. Yes. So as you can see, guys, we've got also another background color here. Something that I have missed. Okay. Okay, let's do this. And take this one here. Okay. So this means that... Okay, this means that now what we can do um let's see which is um the most used background color here okay we've got this one and we've got uh this one okay okay this one is used here and also used here and it's also used here okay cool so what we are going to do guys let's just uh improvise okay let's go back here Okay, uh, let's go back here. My apologies about this. Okay, we've got the wall light color here, which is white. Okay, I don't have a problem with that. Okay, I'm happy with it. Now, what we are going to do, okay, in terms of choosing which one is going to be our wall light secondary and wall light tertiary, we just need to make some decisions here, a little bit of thinking. Okay, so there are some choices that we have to make. Okay, because we've got, I think, more than three colors here so we need to choose so what we are going to do first of all we are going to choose colors that favors the identity of a brand 
okay what do i mean by that if this is the logo as the primary identity duplicate that we need to favor colors which are here as you can see this color it's an identity color so let's just switch over guys okay so the the white light secondary okay as you can see the wall light secondary a background color let's make sure that it's not going to be this one this one it might be tertiary okay let's make sure that it's this one okay let's make sure that it's this one so let's copy this and then let's paste this here okay as you can see um and what else <clears throat> apologize about that so let's check um on wall light tertiary okay um and then wall light tertiary it must be a lighter color so remember i had this color which was here and i discover another one which is this one let's see if what is the difference between these colors if there is no much difference and then as you can see okay as you can see guys there is a difference okay there is but it's not too much okay this feels like it's some sort of one color okay so here what we can do let's see if we can let's say for some reason we've decided to change this let's say okay we've decided to change this um do, 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 do. we've decided to change this for this one as you can see guys there won't be that much of a difference okay so since this color is dominant this one okay and this one is not that dominant so let's take the color that we already have as the light uh, what um as a tertiary color the wall light tertiary so we are going to copy this paste it here okay and let's go back here and change this color to this one okay so as you can see guys we are getting there okay and then we want to get into wall light secondary border okay so i've just realized that most of these components okay they've got some borders around them even if those borders are not uh, what can i say are not as bright or as visible as but most component ui components they have the border that's why i have included these here okay so let's just quickly check on uh, uh wall light secondary which is this one does it have some sort of a border um, somewhere somewhere or it doesn't okay it looks like whenever this is used um there is no border around it in a way okay there is no border around it in a way okay as you can see it doesn't really have a border okay um this is some sort of an outline or um let's see we are talking about white light nope this is not what i want to do okay as you can see guys it doesn't have a border that's not much of a problem we can create our own here okay for just in case we if in case we need it okay this is not something that we have to do because it's not really visible on the ui okay but in case we need it so what we are going to do let's see maybe uh where are we going to do that let's just put this here on a white background um yes okay and then we are going to put a border around it and first of all what i usually do i sample this color as it is and i will just shift it make it uh maybe lighter a little bit okay this is too much and it's noticeable okay this is too much and it's noticeable. let's go back here okay so this one we are going to make it um let's say let's make it dark a little bit let's see how is it going to be okay i think this is enough okay because you need not to notice this border okay this is some sort of a, a certain ui trend you will see it on shard cn ui and material ui it's some sort of um, 
a, a, a trend these days. So as you can see, guys, here is the border, okay? Should we want this to have a border, it will have this border, okay? It must be there, but not there at the same time. You need not to notice it, okay? You need not to notice it, okay? I think this is fine. Okay, this is fine. So let's copy this and come back here and paste this here. Uh, is this wall light secondary? Yes, okay. This is wall light secondary. I'm happy with it. And then we've got wall light tertiary, which is, uh, I think it's this one. Okay, so we can come here and uh, let's look for the stroke. Do we have a stroke? It looks like we have. Let's see if I deactivate this. Okay, so let me double click on this one. Do we have a stroke? Yes, but it has been deactivated. So let me just activate it and change the color of the stroke. So obviously here we are just going to get in here. And then from there, we need to somewhat change this color, okay, a little bit so that it can be visible too much. Okay, I'm happy with this, as you can see, guys, okay, it doesn't have to be too much. We are going to copy this and paste it where? Okay, we didn't make that one blue. Okay, that is my mistake. Let's make this blue. Okay, so that we can signify that we are done with this one. All right, guys. So as you can see, guys, um, these are the colors that we have. Okay, for the background. Okay, we've got uh, the white. We've got uh, the wall secondary and we've got the wall tertiary and they have their own corresponding um, borders. Okay, obviously we might not see it uh, in, in, in one of these. Okay, so we are going to end this session here. Okay, we are done with our wall colors. In the next session, we are going to continue and create our own corresponding, um, what can I say, uh, dark version of the colors. See you on the next one.